Hi everyone, it's Milani and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I got this really easy, bronzy, simple makeup tutorial. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Okay, first thing I did was prime my eyes. I went in with my P. Louise base. This is in Rumor 2. And then I set it with the lightest shade in this Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And this is what it looks like. So now we are nice and primed. And the shadow palette that I'm going to use today is from Juvia's Place. I'm just putting things aside. So I wanted to use this Masquerade Mini by Ajuvia. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. It has, it, I feel like it's just a very perfect palette, especially if you like color and you like neutrals. This is just a really, really nice, just really pretty palette, obviously. So what I'm gonna do, because they don't really have a transition shade that I wanna use, I want something a little lighter. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer that I have all over my face, which is my iconic London Ultimate Bronzing Powder in Warm Bronze. So I'm just gonna use a nice little fluffy brush right here. This is the from the Nazanin Kavari and PH Cosmetics um, brush collab, and this is number six. So what I'm gonna do is just push this product right into the crease. I always like to stamp my shadows on first. And then once I feel like it's really on there, then I'm going to move in circular motions and then do kind of a combination of circular and windshield motions. So with this, I like the way this blends and I just think it's such a pretty color. I feel like it's just perfect for a transition shade. I'm just building it up so it's right, it's right where I want it to be. And making sure that it is nicely blended. I don't want any harsh lines in today's look. Making sure we get the edges. So that's what it should look like. And I'm going to do the other side. Same technique. Push, push, push. Windshield. Swirls. More windshield. Swirls. No. Okay, now we're going in with the Juvia's Place palette. And I think I wanna go in with a little bit of this shade right here. And this is, I'm not, you know what? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce because I don't feel like I can pronounce a lot of these names. So we're going in with this shade right here. Taking the same brush, I'm just gonna use a very small amount. These shadows are very, very pigmented. So always start off with a small amount and then kind of build your way if you wanna add a little more. And then just adding this into the crease. I'm starting with the outer V and I'm just moving this around in circular motions. It's a really, really pretty, just warm tone. And I'm pretty much just keeping this color on the outer V but I'm not, I'm not making it too much of a sharp V. I just kind of want to diffuse it a little bit. And then once most of the product is off of the brush, I'm just going to work this into the inner portion and softly running it on the lid. I'm using very, very light pressure because I just want it to glide on. So it should look a little bit like that. Doing the other side. So now I'm gonna take this shade right here using the same brush, again, taking a very small amount. And I just wanna define this outer V just a little bit. I'm not gonna place it all over where I did that first shade. So I'm kind of just tapping. I'm kind of stretching my eyes without really stretching, just kind of like tilting and just tapping this in. I could, you know what, let me use a smaller brush. 
but still something a little fluffy. This is a Morphe M503, small amount, tap off, and then kind of just pushing it in. So you can already see it's adding some dimension to this look. It's gonna be really, really simple, really easy. This is a little time consuming, but I just, I just like the way it always looks. Do you see the difference between this side and this side? There's more dimension here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is clean off that fluffy brush. No products on here, so whatever is here, I'm just going to pull out just a little. You don't really need to do much, but I just want I just want the colors to blend out a little bit. And then I'm going in over here with a little more blending. I'm gonna do the other side, cleaning the brush off, and then pulling. And if you feel like you lost a little bit of that depth and dimension, just go back in with a little bit more. Just a little, and again, just tap. Okay, so we're taking a nice eyeshadow brush like this, and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a really sparkly, beautiful, bronzy shade. I'm gonna just gently push this on the center of the lid. You can add some powder underneath if for any fallout, but I'm just gonna try to be really, really gentle and careful. This color is so pretty. And I'm just really just working this in. I'm gonna keep the shadow out from the V. I'm pretty much just keeping in the center and the inner portion of the eye. And if you're noticing any fallout, because you, you wanna be like me and not add any powder underneath, just take a little brush and just quickly get it off from underneath there because you don't want that to bake underneath the eyes. So I think we're pretty good on that color. I'm going to do the other eye. So now I'm going in with this shade again taking a small little fluffy brush and I'm just going to run this on the lower lash line. Again, I'm just going with a very small amount. I don't want too much of this color, but I really just want to smoke this out. Whatever products left over, I'm just dragging up just a little. What I'm also gonna do is going back in with the first fluffy brush. I cleaned it off. I'm just going to blend just a little more. I'm gonna be a little messy with this, but again, there's no product on here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna add a little bit of this purple right here, nothing too crazy. And I just wanna add this right here, just a little bit. cleaning that brush off because the shadow is very pigmented. I'm going to blend this in. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm going to add this into the inner tear duct and the brow bone. and just a little bit on the brow bone. I'm gonna add this copper liner from NYX. This is golden bronze in the slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner in my waterline. I'm 
I'm gonna do a wing with a brown aligner. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. So I'm gonna curl my lashes at some mascara and I'm gonna put on these Ioni lashes. I got these from the Dollar Tree. This is what they look like. And this is the 3D Faux Mink Lashes in Wispy Full Dramatic. The style number is 686604. So very affordable, really nice. They just, they feel really good and I just like the way they look on. For highlighter, I'm going in with this Luna Magic Tulum highlighter. I'm gonna to add it to my cheekbones. I'm gonna add a little to my brow bone and the tip of my nose. Just a really, really beautiful, just champagne highlighter. It looks really, really nice on the skin. And a little goes a really, really long way. gonna take a very small amount and using the same brush I'm just gonna run it to the brow bone just just for a little more I know I already had some highlight on there but I usually like to add that little extra there as well you know so I'm just gonna add this to the tip of my nose right here and just a very small amount right here and blend it out. Now for blush, I'm gonna go in with this Juvia's Place Saharan Volume 2. This is the blush palette, sorry, the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. These are what the shadows look for. These are what the blushes look like. So I'm gonna mix these two shades together and I'm just going to add this to this area right here. I'm gonna go over the highlight too. It's such a beautiful palette. Okay, I'm also gonna go in with that fluffy brush and then cleaning it off and then just further blending just to make sure nothing is too harsh. Just final little touch-ups. This is when you just want to check and make sure everything looks good. If you need to add a little shadow, if you need to blend a little more, this is now the time. I am also going to go in with, this is my powder brush. It looks like the tip of my nose is a little harsh. So just whatever product is left over, I'm just going to tap my nose area. And over here where I added my highlight, just want to make sure it's a little softer in person it's looking a little harsh so i'm not sure how it's picking up on camera but i don't want it to be too in your face so now i'm going to do my lips and then we're pretty much done so i'm going to go with morphe's sugar pie lip liner now i'm going to go with this milani the fetish matte lipstick and this is in 420 tees so this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.